hey what's going on guys my name is farjana welcome to my another elementor tips and tricks and elementor design related tutorial so in this video i will show you how you can create this kind of cool testimonial area here in the left side this is the testimonial and here is the name and this is title and on the right side here is our client images so the first one is showing here and when you click on the second image our testimonial is changing so this is a cool effect using elementor for testimonial in this tutorial i will show you how you can create this kind of effect for testimonial but we can follow the same process for different sections like we can create a slider or we can create a team member area using the same process so if you like to see how you can create this kind of section using elementor without any further ado let's get started First I am taking a new section and here I am taking a two column structure. Now going to edit section and setting the section height to fit to screen and here going to style tab, going to background type and here I am setting a dark color. I am setting this dark blue and now in the left side I am going to add some testimonials and on the right side our client's image. So now first click here. And from the left side, I'm searching for testimonial. I'm taking this default testimonial. And here, I'm hiding this image, only the text, name, and the title. From the bottom, changing the alignment to left. And going to style tab, changing the text color to white. And the typography, it's already the pop-ins, we need not to change it and the name going to change the name color we can set a different color like pink or i'm setting like this and then the title changing this color to a light gray and the typography making the font family to poppins and the font size is okay font weight okay text transform I'm making it to uppercase and some letter spacing I'm adding one pixel and we can also do the same for the name making that text transform to uppercase and font weight we can make it to 600 and adding some letter spacing all right so this is okay and we can increase the text level going to content and this is dummy text we can increase the text so this is done and on the right side i'm going to add some images these images will work as our client's image so click here first i'm taking a inner section and for the first one taking a image module and here going to upload some images i have already uploaded some member image for example i'm going to upload this one and here alignment is center okay I'm going to style tab we can add some border radius if i scroll down here is border radius i'm making it to 10 pixel all right looks good and simply duplicate this image moving it to the right one and for this one changing this image selecting this one and finally duplicating this column again and also changing the image and in the similar way from the left side i am going to duplicate this testimonial and here we can increase the column width for the first one yeah like this so our design is almost ready and now i'm going to add some class and css code so if i check my website here i have already listed some steps now i am going to follow these steps i will also leave this page link in my description so you can check it from there so here first i have to add this class name for our testimonial area I'm going to copy this name so this will be our class name for the text going here 
going for the first one going to advance and here is css class name and going to the second one going to advance same for all and then here is another css id so this will also be for each text i'm going to copy going for the first one and here is css id so here the name will be same and the number it will be changed for the second one and third one so going to the second advance and from here i'm changing this text to and the third one making it to text three and then here is a class name active so we need to add this class name only with the first one going to the first one from advanced class name with this class name just press a space then paste it all right so all text is done and then for the image area i have to add this class name and attribute name and also this class name so first going to copy and i need to add this class name for each images going to the first one going to advance and this is the class name will be same for all two and then here is the attribute name and also here the similar way we have to set the numbers one two three and so on so going to copy and for the first one from advanced tab if i scroll down here is options attribute and simply paste it so this will be data tab one and this one will be linked with the first one so when we click on the first image the first text will be appear and then the second going to the attribute and paste our attribute changing the number to two and these two will be linked with the second text and the third one going to advance attribute and making it to three and finally this class name active this will be only with the first one going to the first image advance and class name pressing space and then paste so all this is added and then here is some css code before adding this CSS code, I am changing some text from the left side so we can see the changes easily. For the second one, I am changing the name. We can change this name to Karen Nacy. And the third one, we can change this name also. And finally, the CSS code. So I am going to copy all this CSS code. And here on the right side, go to this inner section and from advanced tab if i scroll down here is the options custom css by the way these options will be available for elementor pro only so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and after activating the elementor pro we will get these options to our website now simply paste our css code and now you can see some small changes to our design like on the right side if i see the image for the first one this is active and it's showing in a zoom mode and full opacity and the two other images in low opacity and also in the left side we can see this name and title are working in side by side so i have added this below css code for this style if you don't want to make like that so you can remove this css for now i'm leaving it and finally if i check my website if i scroll down here i have to add some js code so i'm going to copy all this js code and now i'm taking a new widgets going here and here i'm searching for code so we will find this html widgets i'm taking this one we can place these widgets to anywhere because this will not be appear to our front end it will only work for our back end view and now here first i have to add the script tag and closing the script and inside this script tag i have to put this 
JS code. And now if I save this page and go to the preview changes, you can see here is showing by default the first one and when I click on the second one, our text is changing. This is so cool. And finally, I'm going to add some more images and some more text. So going again here and in the similar way, I'm going to add some more image. This time I'm going to duplicate this inner section, going to duplicate and changing the image. And for the first one, going to advanced tab and from attribute i'm making the data tab to 4 and from advanced class name removing this active and for the second one going to advanced and attribute making it to 5 and this one going to advanced going to attribute making it to 6 and here we can add another line just in the similar way going to duplicate this time I'm removing the last one and changing this to image and also this one and going to advance attribute this is the last one so this will be 8 I'm making it to 8 and for this one will be 7. So going to advance and attribute making the data tab number 7. And here we can decrease the width or we can add some spacing in left and right. So here I'm going to add a new column on the left side and duplicate it. Now moving it to the left and another one moving it to the right side and now we can decrease the first one and also the last one cool so this is looking good and in the similar way we can duplicate our text so it's not showing now if i go to the navigator right click here here is the three testimonial i'm going to duplicate from here making it to 4 if i go to the advanced text details and the id if i go to the third one going to advanced here is the css id and i'm going to the fourth one from advanced adding the id and making it to 4 again duplicating from advanced css id making it to text 5 text 6 text 7 and one more time text 8 all right so here is a testimonial text in the left side and also eight images so this will be linked with each other and now finally I'm saving this page and also checking this view so now if I check if images we can see our text is also changing I have just duplicated this text so it's almost same but if I use the different text we will see all the changes and finally I'm going to refresh this page first and now checking the responsive view so for that bottom left corner here is responsive mode and if I go to the tablet so tablet area looks good and also for phone so phone area is not working well so i have to work for the phone view so text area is okay but the images we need to fix this image size for phone so going here for the first column for inner section we can change the column width to 33 and similar way for the second one third one and this blank one i'm making it to 16 then this one 33 
this one 33 and the last one you can make it to 16 all right so this is looking good and for this whole section we can add some padding in top and bottom so going to edit section going to advance and padding making it to unlink for top i am adding 50 and bottom 50 and if i hide the panel from the left side all right so now you can see our phone view looking good and also tablet view looks good and the desktop and finally going to our builder and save this page and also if i refresh our page and now if i go to the phone view you can see it's working fine and also if i go to the tablet so tablet looking good and here we can decrease the height for the tablet so going to tablet and here i'm going to the edit section and layout if i change the height to default and from advanced i'm going to add some padding in top and bottom for top i'm adding 80 and bottom 80. all right and for desktop i have to add some padding in top and bottom all right and now just crossing it and save our page all right so we are done for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.